I've had a subscriber ask me to talk a little bit more about the paints we use. This seems like a good time because we are painting a big project at the moment. We've got a number of boards here drying. And if you haven't seen it already, that's our very basic spray area over there. The paint we use, as I've said before, is the Movac Sailac water-based product. The code for it is AT9915 and the slash BB just means it's a, a white base. What I want to talk to you about specifically today is the use of the Crosslinker. It's a, a product that turns the water-based paint into a two-pack chemical cure product. Um, so the the code for the crosslinker here is here. Uh, so what that means is it will cure quicker, it will go hard quicker. Now bear in mind there is a difference between the paint becoming dry, like touch dry, uh, versus it fully curing. And there are even different levels of, of dry, like there's touch dry and then there's stackable dry. The full cure, I believe even on this, this quick drying water-based paint, the full cure may be up to two weeks. Um, that's when it achieves its full hardness. The crosslinker will will make it dry, touch dry quicker, and it will also make it achieve full cure quicker. Now, Movac have told me that 85 to 90% of their water-based paint customers are not using the crosslinker. We've been in that category because the paint with or without the crosslinker achieves BS6250 um, standard, which is a standard of hardness and durability and, and wear. We've decided to use it now because we had an issue on one job where we had a stain appear <clears throat> after some dirty water on a cup was left overnight. Now that shouldn't happen with this paint and Movac weren't sure why it happened because the paint had been cured a couple of weeks before. It actually unusually been sprayed before a holiday in the workshop and then fitted sometime after. Um, the only thing they could think of was the specific temperature and humidity conditions maybe leading to the cure not happening as perfectly as it should. So we decided given the, you may have heard the rain outside, given the humid conditions today we've decided to go ahead and use the crosslinker just to be absolutely sure that we've got the full cure on this very high value job. So we're, we're moving now on to the doors for this job. Once you mix the crosslinker in, it will dry and act as a two-part product with a quicker curing time if it's applied within eight hours. After that eight hours, it will revert to a non-crosslinked product. So that so it's not wasted and it doesn't set. The crosslinker just disperses and becomes inactive. However, the other thing to know is that once that's happened, you cannot then re-cross-link that batch of paint. The other thing to know is that if the proportion of the mix is too little or too much, it also is ineffective. And the proportion is between 0.5 and 1% of the cross-linker to the, to the top coat paint that you're mixing it into. That's pretty much exactly 13 centimeters in depth. So we'll do our calculation, 13 centimetres times the area of the base, 201 centimetres squared, equals 2,613 centimetres squared, which is the same as millilitres. So we then want to get our somewhere between 0.5 and 1% proportion of the crosslinker mixed. So let's just divide that by 100, I'm having a bit of trouble with this calculator, divide that by 100, so that's 26.13 millilitres, that would be 1%, and just to get bang on, because it needs to be quite precise, to get bang on between the 0.5 and 1%, let's just times that by 0.75. 19.6, near enough 20, 20 millilitres. So we're aiming for around about 20 millilitres. Now because it's very thick, we'd have trouble mixing this straight in as it comes. So what Movac recommend is putting some warm water in. 
There's no harm putting a bit of water in because Brady normally mixes in around about five. Was it about 500 um, milliliters? Yeah, yeah. About 500 mil per um, five liter tin. So that's around about 10%, isn't it? Which is usually about the maximum recommended to thin the paint. And that's because it goes through the spray machine a bit better that way. So that's ready to go in. And that's it, we should be good to go.